automotive engineering is no stranger to pushing the boundaries of creativity. But when it comes to unconventional engine designs, these Russian inventors' engine might take the cake. Enter the crankless two-stroke V16 engine created by the brilliant and wonderfully eccentric minds behind Garage 54, a team known for challenging the mainstream with outlandish projects that leave engineers worldwide both bewildered and amazed. This V16 isn't just any 16-cylinder engine, it's an array of 16 chainsaw engines fused together in a system that is part masterpiece and part mechanical oddity. But don't let the chainsaw origins fool you, this engine boasts some serious ingenuity, packed with design choices that, while unconventional, make it an engine that the world can't help but admire. So let's delve into how this crankless, two-stroke engine came to be and what makes it so fascinating. So the starting point for this engine comes from 16 identical chainsaw engines, sourced from Chinese-made models. Each engine features a single-cylinder two-stroke design with a displacement of 52 cubic centimeters, which translates roughly to 3.75 horsepower per engine. Multiply that by 16 and you get a total of around 60 horsepower, on paper at least. But horsepower is only one piece of the puzzle. Torque, the twisting force that actually drives the vehicle, is an area where two-stroke engines like these chainsaw power plants tend to struggle. Two-stroke engines are typically designed to operate at high RPM with relatively low torque output, a quality useful for powering a chainsaw blade but potentially problematic in automotive applications. Nonetheless, Garage 54 saw this as a challenge rather than a deterrent. One of the most fascinating aspects of this V16 is the lack of a traditional crankshaft, the component that typically connects the car's pistons to the transmission, turning linear motion into rotational force. Instead of using a shared crankshaft for the entire engine block, each of these 16 chainsaw engines is mounted with its own individual crankshaft. These crankshafts drive a cork system, and the individual power outputs are combined via a cocked drive belt that connects all the engines together. Imagine a Y-shaped structure resembling a V8 engine block with two banks of eight engines on each side. Each engine turns a cog, and those cogs are linked by a belt system. This may sound complicated, and it is, but it eliminates the need for a complex, heavy rotating assembly, which is where the crankless moniker comes from. However, connecting 16 individual power sources to a single shaft introduces some practical difficulties. The pulleys, for instance, loosen up during operation, especially with eight engines turning in the opposite direction of the bolts, holding the pulleys in place. Garage 54 addressed this by welding the pulleys, a quick and somewhat crude but effective solution to the problem. The use of two-stroke engines present an interesting advantage, though, Simplicity, two-stroke engines operate without many of the complex components found in four-stroke engines, such as valves and camshafts. In the V16, the two-stroke architecture makes the design less complicated, while also boosting the power-to-weight ratio. The 16 chainsaw engines only need a fuel oil mixture, which burns in each combustion cycle, delivering power at a high rate compared to the same displacement in a four-stroke engine. Additionally, the engine air is cooled, eliminating the need for complex cooling systems like radiators or coolant reservoirs. This is another aspect where simplicity wins, making the entire assembly lighter and more straightforward. Now to transfer the engine's power to the wheels, Garage 54 sourced a four-speed manual gearbox from none other than a Lada Zinguli, one of the most iconic Soviet cars. Known for its simplicity and ruggedness, the Zinguli's transmission is well suited to match the unusual power delivery of this V16. However, the process of syncing 16 individual engines to work at the same speed is an engineering challenge onto itself. And to solve this, a system of cables is used to control the throttles on each of the engines. Pulling on the main cable pulls open the throttle on all 16 engines simultaneously, ensuring that the entire engine revs at the same speed. The transmission, however, is unlikely to face the same smooth power delivery of a typical engine due to the unpredictable nature of the cobbled together design. But despite its unorthodox construction, the V16 actually works, though not without some bumps along the way. One of the biggest issues is fuel delivery. Each engine receives fuel through transparent hoses connected by T connectors, but the seals on those connectors aren't perfect. This leads to gasoline leaks. 
which is a serious issue that Garage 54 has acknowledged and is working to fix. Even more amusing is how they get the fuel to flow in the first place though. I mean one of the team members manually blow air into a plastic jug to pressurize the fuel lines. It's a crude but inventive solution, emblematic of the group's resourcefulness and willingness to use manpower in ways most engineers would never dream of. But despite these challenges, the engine does run and the team is already considering how to mount it in a car for further testing. Whether this 51 cubic inch 16 cylinder will ever power a drivable vehicle remains to be seen, but the sheer novelty and brilliance of the concept have captured the imagination of gear rates around the world. In a world where engines are becoming more sophisticated with turbocharging, hybrid systems and even full electrification, this V16 is a testament to the beauty of mechanical ingenuity at its most basic level. It doesn't rely on advanced electronics or modern materials. Instead, it's a hands-on DIY approach to engineering that reminds us of a time when raw mechanics were king. While the engine may never outperform a Bugatti V16 or even approach the smoothness of a normal traditional engine, it represents the spirit of innovation that drives the automotive world forward. By daring to challenge conventional thinking, Garage 54 has created an engine that, while quirky, is undeniably impressive. But at the end of the video, please let me know what you guys thought of the video and what you guys think of this crazy engine that the mad scientists at Garage 54 had built. I do think it's... um. It, it's it's stupid but in a good way like like a really cheap really crappy engine will be better in every single way but this is cool and they built it themselves which just adds another layer of coolness but yeah let me know down below what you guys think if you guys enjoyed this video please have a like and subscribe to the channel and if you guys did like it you'll most probably like most of my other stuff so just go through my channel see if there's something to like i'll check you guys in the next one cheers i eh?